Hi guys. Um, this video is to walk you guys through your first essay assignment and this essay is designed to um, showcase your argumentation skills. You will not be doing any outside research or you're not required to, um, but basically you're going to create an argumentative essay with a clearly stated position on an issue of your choosing with solid and relevant evidence. So you get to pick your own topic, but whatever you pick is subject to instructor approval. That's for two reasons. One, I want to make sure you're setting yourself up for success on this essay. But secondarily, you're going to have to keep the same topic and stance in your second essay, but you're going to have to do additional research and talk to a subject matter expert of your choosing. So I want to make sure that whatever you choose, you are set up for success, both for this essay and the second essay and you will not be able to change that topic or stance for your second essay. Um, so just as some examples of what you might choose, what you wanna do is make sure that you choose something that is a clear topic with a clear stance on the issue. So while you may yourself not have a particular stance that you take on that issue, for the purposes of this essay, you need to take a stance. You have to choose one side for or against. So for example, if you wanted to talk about legalizing marijuana that might be the general topic is is whether or not we should legalize marijuana and the stance that you would take for example might be that we should legalize marijuana on a national scale um, so that would be a clear topic legalizing marijuana or not and a clear stance yes we should legalize it on a national level um, what you want to do is make sure that you are very specific and concrete in the topic and stance that you choose. So, like I said, it, I'm not just saying, for example, that we should legalize marijuana. There's no specifics to that. There's no understanding of whether that's on a state level or a national level, um, whether that's medical or, or, or up to a certain, you know, certain ounce number. Um, a very specific concrete claim would be something like we should legalize marijuana on a national level up to two ounces. That would be a very concrete thesis claim. So I've had students who have written about all kinds of things. This is purposely broad because I want you guys to choose something that you are interested in or care about, something that is fact-based. So what you don't want to do is choose something that's an opinion-based argument. So for example, I've had students who say wanted to argue that LeBron was the greatest of all time. Um, while that may be true, that's an opinion-based argument that can't ultimately be proven with fact-based reasoning, logic, and research um, because greatest is a qualitative state. So it's opinion-based and you're never going to be able to quote unquote prove that. So you don't want to do something that has greatest or best or most. You want it to be a very concrete fact-based um, logical argument. So I've had students do everything from that we should increase electric car production to prevent climate change um, we should or should not um, uh, legalize abortion to a certain trimester. Um, we should or should not have hormones in beef. We should or should not have vaccine mandates. Um, we should or should not have, uh, you know, increased gun control uh, laws in place and what those would be, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, Again, the topic is to be something you're interested in, something you want to talk about for the next several weeks and do a lot of research and work on, um, but it needs to be fact-based, logical, and concrete. So your essay is gonna be three to four pages in length and is due on Sunday, February 20th at 11.59 p.m. MLA formatting is required, everything's checked for plagiarism, and that minimum page length, you're always welcome to write more, you just can't write less. So you have to write to the bottom of the third page at minimum. Um, otherwise, you will, lose, you will lose some points. So again, the topic has to be approved by myself. You'll see that there's an assignment where you're actually going to submit that. Um, your essay needs to have all the general parts of an essay. So you need to have an introduction with a thesis claim, body paragraphs with evidence to support, and a conclusion which basically restates your thesis and your main ideas in new words. Um, you should also include two to three opposing viewpoints with those refutations. So, for example, if if I was if my thesis was that we should legalize marijuana um, up to two ounces on a national level, uh, my reasons might be that one, it helps uh, you know increase it helps improve the economy. Um, my evidence might be pointing to a state like Colorado where that that is the case. 
Um, my second reason might be something like uh, that it, it will help um, reduce the number of uh, reduce the, the population in prison for for small um, you know drug related small marijuana related crimes. And three that it would um, I don't know something something else that it is useful for medical purposes. Um, and then I might add my opposing viewpoints would be that uh, some people believe that marijuana is, you know, say an addictive substance, and then my refutation would whatever show that that may not be the case or whatever it might be. But that just gives you an idea of how you might kind of structure such an argument. Um, when you uh, do your final submission, there's two parts that will be graded as part of your essay. So one is an outline. That's a separate assignment that you'll have already submitted. Um, and that grade will be basically 20% of your essay grade. So the idea is that if you do the outline and you do it well, um, you get an automatic 20 points on your essay. So it's really a way to help bolster your grade. So you want to make sure you do that assignment. Um, and then the final essay is what you'll submit a clean word draft of your final essay. Again, you're not required to use any source material, but if you choose to you say one or two sources, um, you can add that uh, add the bibliography to your essay packet as well. So I've just included an example here of what an outline might look like to help give you guys um, just a look at what a, a argumentative structure might look like. Again, you're going to have a template when you do your outline assignment later, but this is just here to kind of give you an example of what this type of argument might look like. So once again, this is purposely broad. I want you guys to choose something you are interested in or care about, something you don't mind spending the next two essays writing about. Um, and you're going to go ahead and move on to the next assignment. I believe that this week it, that is your, your topic proposal. Um, and you can continue moving on. And let me know if you have any questions at all about this.